that we magnify you, Lord. It's not by our power, not by our mind, it's by your spirit that, Lord, you give all grace to gather again together to be able to come and call upon your most holy name, eternal Lord of ages. We adore you, Christ the King. We lift you up, our Lord and our God, we glorify you, O oh, Lord and Redeemer and Father. God, we lift you up, O oh, God, higher, 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 higher. In the name of Jesus Christ, you are worthy to be praised. You are worthy to be exalted. You are worthy to be lifted up. You are worthy to be magnified. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, our dear Redeemer. Thank you, our dear Father. God, thank you for the Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. I want to bless the name of the Lord once again for our individual families. Amen. What God has done in our lives. Mm -hmm. I want to put your mind back and think about all that God of heaven has done for you, has done for me, has done for your husband, has done for your wife, has done for your children. You know, God did not allow any kind of untimely death in our lives, in our family, our 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 maybe members of our family have been going from one place to another, and yet mm. God has been watching over us. He mm. watches over us in the night. He mm. watches over us in the day. When we are traveling, He's always there to watch over us. When we are in our workplaces and people are throwing arrows upon arrows, mm. He watches over us. He wouldn't allow the enemy to do any harm. He said, touch no man, anointed, I do my prophet no harm. Why don't you open your mouth and begin to appreciate for tonight? And say, Father, God, you have helped us thus far. From January to this time, God, you have been our strength and our faith. Open your mouth and begin to appreciate God because he wants to hear you pray him. Open your mouth and begin to give him all the praises tonight. Let's thank God. Let's worship God. Let's honor God. Let's have done the Christmas. Let's give him all the praise tonight. Let's thank him. You have been good for us. You have kept us safe. You have watched over us. You have been here for us. You have been here for us. And the Alpha and the Omega. You have been here for us as our protector. You have been here for us, Lord Jesus Christ, our common King. We thank you, Lord. In spite of the Father, every good and wholesome and right, ah, Father, you are showing your mouth and begin to press it. What do you mean? You are the Lord. 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 We are free. We are our God and our Father will thank you this hour. Thank you so much for everything that you have done for us already. Thank you for bringing us once again into your presence. Because in your presence, there is fullness of joy. And that is why we have come tonight. We have come to seek your face. We have come to tarry. We have come to renew our strength. We have come to, you know, to get... That which you have, for, you have proposed for our lives, O oh God, mm -hmm. all the blessing that you have already earmarked for us, we mm -hmm. have come to receive them into our lives, O oh God. All the power that want to stand in the heavens, mm -hmm. all the power that want to stand in the air, all the power that want to hijack that blessings you have proposed for our lives, O oh God. Tonight, O oh God, by the power in the blood of Jesus. By the power in the name of Jesus, we subdue every one of them tonight, oh God, in Jesus' name. Amen. Father, we pray that tonight you will breathe upon every one of us, oh God. Amen. Yourself, even unto us tonight, in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Father. Amen. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Amen. Amen. I want that to briefly read from the book of Acts, chapter 16. If you have your Bible there, yeah, you can go along with me. But if you don't have, I will read our hearings. 
But just let's go along so that we can pray together. Because tonight, we really want to pray. We want to pray with all our heart, with all our soul. Of course, I'm reading a popular pas passage of the scriptures that we all we know very well and we are very much familiar with. Acts chapter 16. In the book of Acts, chapter number 16. And I want to read yeah, verses 25 and uh, 26. Acts chapter 16. Acts chapter 16 from verse 25. He said in verse 25, yes, yeah, he said, and at midnight, at midnight, Paul and Silas preached. And, you know, people, at the time that we are living in, it's a time that is so challenging. It's a time that everybody almost wants to be feeling the pain. And look at these people, they were, they were having a share of their own challenges. They were being arrested, and then they were being locked up somewhere inside the prison and all that. But that did not, will not weaken their mind. That will not deny them from praying. That will not make them, make them to be discouraged. Instead of being discouraged, they turn to God in prayer. The Bible says Paul and Silas prayed, and they sang praises unto God, and the prisoners had them. Verse 26. And the Bible says, they pray, they sang praises unto God of heaven. They worship God. They honor God. They pray and pray through. In verse 26, he said, and suddenly, suddenly, there was a great earthquake. Mm. So that the foundations of the prison, I want to take note of the language of the scriptures here. The mm. foundation of the prison, foundations, in plural. Mm. And so many foundations that people are carrying up and down today that is affecting their life and their destiny, that is affecting everything about their family, that is affecting their careers, that is affecting even everything that they do all around them. But you know, but because these people they spend time to pray, he said suddenly, he says suddenly there was a great earthquake, and I know that earthquake of power. That mm. earthquake of deliverance, that mm. earthquake of supernatural, we mm. come down even as we are praying, even though we are we are we are in different different places. Distance is not a barrier. You know what mm. brings us together here is faith connection. Yes. Faith connection. We mm. connected. We are connected by faith. We connect mm. our faith with the Son of God. We connect our faith with the faith of our Lord Jesus Christ. We connect our hearts even together with the Lord Jesus Christ, because he ever lived to make intercession for the sin. Mm -hmm. He said, and suddenly there was a great earthquake, so that the foundation of the prison, I don't know the kind of prison that you might have been kept. Of course, you know what prison is all about, incarceration. And then you have been locked up. And it appears you want to make progress, you find it so difficult. You want to make progress either spiritually, you are not, things are not just working out. You want to make progress maritally, things are not just, just moving out, moving on as expected. You want to make progress financially, things are not just working. In the life of the wife, in the life of the husband, things are not just working out. He said, and suddenly there was a great earthquake, so that the foundation of the prison was shaking. And the Bible says, and immediately, and immediately, take note of that. Immediately, all the doors were open. Tonight, mm -hmm. our doors of miracles, our doors of breakthroughs, mm -hmm. our doors of you know of a survivor, our doors of making progress in life, everything will be open tonight. He said, mm -hmm. I will open and no man can shut it. Mm -hmm. I will open and no man can shut it. That's why we are here tonight. And that's why mm -hmm. we are gathered on this platform. Wherever mm -hmm. we are being connected, some are connected from America, some are connected from UK, some are connected in diverse places, some are in within Nigeria here, and that's why we want to call upon the name of the Lord, and we want to say, Father, thank you for this open door, open door, you have mm -hmm. granted unto us already, he said, and it shall come to pass that before the call, I will answer, 
We want to give him all the praise. Open your mouth and begin to pray. And say, Father, thank you once again because this tonight is my night of miracle. Tonight is my night of breakthrough. Tonight is my night that you are going to visit me and you are going to give me testimony. Open your mouth and begin to appreciate God tonight because tonight God will do wonders in every life, everyone connected on this platform. Whether you are a man or you are a woman or you are a teenager, everyone all together, God is visiting us afresh tonight. Open your mouth and begin to praise God and say, Father, thank you because I know God tonight you are going to do great and wonderful things, you know, on speak to on things. Everything. Open your mouth and begin to honor God and begin to say, Father, Lord, I believe that you are, you are visiting me tonight. Tonight is my night of miracle. Tonight is my night, a night of wonder, a remarkable night in my life, an unforgettable night. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Open your mouth and say, Father, once again, oh Lord, I know that you are going to do something great in my life in the mighty name of Jesus. Open your mouth and call upon the Lord. Open your mouth and pray tonight. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Mm -hmm. Amen. Firstly, we are going to pray. Look at these people here. One thing I observe here, they were men of prayers. They were men of prayers. People that were not joke with prayer. That's why he said men ought always to pray and not to faint. Even as you are here now, I want to tell you that if, if, if possible, maybe probably maybe you find it difficult even to pray. And even as you are praying now, you are struggling and all that we are going to pray. All the blanket of weaknesses, every kind of projection of weakness, every kind of projection of you no, know, a kind of prayerlessness within your soul. We are going to pray tonight. Mm -hmm. Everything, the power of God will neutralize everything tonight. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Open your mouth and begin to pray tonight. Open your mouth and call upon the name of the Lord. You can't be sleeping while others are praying. You can't be weak while others are seeking the face of God. Why don't you open your mouth and say, God, every garment of weakness, every garment of gladness, Every garment of carelessness in my life, in my soul, in my body, within and without. Oh Lord, tonight I tear them into pieces. Oh God, by the power of the Holy Ghost, in the name of Jesus Christ. Your mouth and begin to pray tonight. Open your mouth and call upon the name of the Lord, because we have to pray. So can you shall seek me and find me when you shall search for me with all your heart. Open your mouth and ask God and say, God, nothing will bring me down from praying. Nothing will tie me down from seeking the face of God tonight. Open your mouth and ask God and say, God, every weakness, every garment of weakness and weaknesses, I tear them into pieces out of my life tonight, even in your family. Open your mouth and pray in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. We want to pray tonight, brethren. We want to call upon the name of the Lord. We are still launching into the deep. But then, we need to rebuild the broken altar. Mm -hmm. Altar that have been broken down in our lives. Mm -hmm. The altar of prayers. The altar of intercession. The altar of, you know, supplication. That has collapsed in our families. Husband and wife cannot pray together. Family, I mean, the, the, the parents and children, they cannot pray together. And they will just pray kind of snapshot prayer and they say they are praying. No, we want mm. to ask God, oh Lord, tonight, rebuild that broken altar in my life. Mm. The broken altar of prayers, mm. the broken altar of intercession. We want mm. to ask God and say, God, oh Lord, do it once again in my life, oh God. Rebuild that broken altar. Open your mouth and begin to call upon the name of the Lord. Open your mouth and say, God, and be show me once again, oh God. It is only at the place of prayer. That's where God will visit us and manifest His glory and power in our lives. Open your mouth and begin to go to another thing. Oh Lord, we that's been broken in intercessory prayer. Father, oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Heavenly Father, once again, oh God, visit me tonight. Oh God, I look unto you and begin to rebuke every broken 
the altar of prayers, the altar of intercession and supplication, oh God. Almighty God, begin to rebuild it once again, oh God. Holy Father, God of heaven, do it once again. The body to pray. The zeal to pray, the enthusiasm to pray, the earnestness in prayer, oh Lord, begin to release it upon our lives, upon everyone, upon every participant on this platform, oh God. Let your power come down, my Father, once again tonight, oh God. In the mighty name of Jesus, we are us once again with the fullness of your power. We are us once again with the fullness of the anointing of the Holy Ghost. He shall be the name of Jesus Christ. Almighty God, I ask you, O God, empower me to pray, my Father God. O Lord, empower me to pray. God, I ask you, my Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. We are praying. Amen. We want to pray tonight, brethren. If you look at the passage where we read, it says suddenly there was a great earthquake mm. so that the foundation of the prison was shaking. Mm. Foundation was shaking mm. because these people, they were in prison. They were incarcerated. Mm. And it appears as if there was no way out, mm. or no way out of escape. Probably maybe your, your own life also has come to that point and then you are just struggling and it appears as if you are almost getting tired tired and getting weary almost resulting to depression and because of you're almost giving up that there's no way out i want to tell you there is a way out Amen. There is a way out tonight Amen. because Amen. the king of king is stepping into that thing we are going to pray that every evil foundation of the prison where our life have been kept we want to pray tonight the power of the Holy Ghost will begin to destroy all those evil foundations that tend to pin us down. We want to ask God, let the power of God be to break everything and crush it to pieces tonight. Open your mouth and begin to pray to God and say, God, that evil foundation once again, oh God, let everything begin to receive the thunder and the power of God and everything be broken and to pieces tonight. In the mighty name of Jesus, open your mouth and call upon the name of the Lord. Open your mouth and seek the face of God and say, God, oh Lord, I come to you tonight. Lord, by your mighty power, oh God, let all the foundation be shaken, oh God. Shake all the shakeables tonight, oh God. In the mighty name of Jesus. Open your mouth and begin to call upon the name of the Lord. Let us go to the Father with the gift of God. By the Spirit of power, every foundation of the prison where you have been locked up, you have been locked up spiritually, where one way or the other, we want to ask God, let the foundation be shaken. In the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Amen. Brethren, we are going to pray tonight. Our eyes are upon God. Mm. I know that one way or the other, there are times when people have been caged. They have been caged. Either they have taken their names to the shrine of the devil. And when I say the shrine in the villages where some of us hail from, and then maybe a particular family that have been dedicated to all those idolatrous worship or maybe to a cultic society, and all those uh, fetish, diabolical families. And uh, everything that tends to happen there, it affects individual. Mm -hmm. It goes from one person to another person. Sometimes in a family, it's a trend. And we're going to pray. Some, sometimes it could be trend, like somebody told me. He said in their family, they used to have a particular sickness that used to come up upon their nose. The thing will just swell up at a particular point in the year. And uh, when I find out, they said that's how it used to happen to the forefathers. It's a trend. The thing will just swell and difficult their face. Begin to wonder what is happening to this person. And the person will suffer for it maybe for almost two weeks, one month like that. And it goes from one generation to another generation. 
in another family. Sometimes it could be poverty that runs through the family and every member of the family. Like somebody was, uh, you know, uh, was telling me that even, it cannot even say that to, to even eat in the family is difficult. Mm -hmm. And the lineage of that individual, even no matter what they collect, no matter how they make money, before you know it, you find that something will just take away the, the finances. Something mm -hmm. will just take away everything. And then they go from poverty to poverty, just like a trend we are going to pray tonight. Every evil trend mm -hmm. that is ruling or that is dominating in our family, going from one individual to another individual, going from one generation to another generation, all those evil trends, we are going to pray. The power of God will visit that evil foundation. Amen. Every tool will be ah, dismantled by Christ tonight. Jesus, I Every your mother will begin to pray. And say, Lord, 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 all those evil trends in my family that have been affecting my life, affecting my destiny, let everything be visited by the power of God tonight and be visited let everything be shaken from God by the power of God, by the earthquake of power, by the power of the Holy Ghost tonight. Everything is shaken. Oh God, I will pray tonight. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, open your mouth and begin to ask God all the power that have been assigned in those families to be monitoring for God and to be able to give it in place. You want to ask God and say, you demon, you evil, you evil, you evil, you evil, you evil, I command you not to hold. You would have been so nice. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, open your mouth and begin to ask God Pray, open your mouth and call upon the name of the Lord. Find the glory for the name of Jesus. We will break all the shame. We will break all the curses tonight. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of God, pray upon the name of the Lord. Open your mouth and say, "Open the windows." Be of the Lord. Be in the name of the Lord. We are praying. Amen. Sometimes in the family, it could be prison of affliction. Affliction. Can come in diverse forms. Do you know that somebody even told me that? Do you know that poverty is an affliction? Mm. You know that when poverty is much, it can even make somebody to drop the Bible. It can even make somebody to say, Well, God, I, I don't think I can continue. You know, it can even make somebody to begin to misbehave and begin to do what you ought not to do because of. You know, poverty, penury, suffering, when the suffering is too much. And do you know, some people are in that prison, prison of affliction. Sometimes it could be in form of sicknesses. And I want you to look at your life. I remember our pastor, Pastor Dakbo, you know, prayed, uh, he led us to pray one prayer last Saturday or so. Was it last Saturday or, or thereabout? He said that we should pray against every evil projection. Hmm projection of sicknesses in the body. And we are going to repeat that prayer tonight again. We are going to ask God, whatever thing that has been projected in your family, mm -hmm. that it appears as if the students are always falling sick at a particular point of the uh, particular uh, time in the year, or maybe the husband, the wife, every now and there's something moving in the body, object here and there, or maybe oppression in the... We are going to pray. All those afflictions coming from the pit of hell, whatever evil projection that the enemy has projected into your life, 
into your body, into your system, into your kidney, into your lungs, into the bloodstream, into the marrows, into the muscular organ. We are going to pray. Let the fire of God begin to uproot everything tonight. Open your mouth and begin to call up the name of the Lord. And say, God of heaven, all those in the projections, I root them out by fire. I command the kingdom of the world to begin to open by fire. Open the name of the Lord. Open your mouth and say, God of heaven, all those in the projections, I root them out by fire. I command the kingdom of the world to begin to open by fire. Open your mouth and say, God of heaven, all those in the projections, I root them out by fire. I command the kingdom of the world to begin to open by fire. Open your mouth and say, God of heaven, all those in the projections, I root them out by fire. We want to ask God and say, Father, what's the gift tonight? Let everything be dismantled by fire. Let everything be dismantled by the fire tonight. What can be the name of the city? It's all about the city. It's all about the city. It's all about the city. Dig it out tonight. Dig them out tonight. Put them by fire. In the mighty name of Jesus, open your mouth and begin to pray tonight. Oh, tonight, 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 tonight,
Mm. Maybe there are such things as happen in those families. That's why we are going to lift up our voices mm. tonight. Maybe you are experiencing what I'm talking about. Mm. You don't know. You, you, you ask yourself, you say, how did I, how did this problem start? How did evil start? How did we come about this one? That we had a failed marriage. You cannot even figure it out because the enemy has done this. Tonight, we want to chase the enemy out of our families. We want to chase all the powers that is causing delay in marriages of our brethren. We want to, want to, want to chase them out. We want to tell the enemy to lose his hold completely. Shall we lift up our voices? Say, I dare you pray in the name of Jesus, by the authority in the blood of the Lord, the name of the Lord. we want to pray tonight, brethren. We want to ask the Lord every torment of the enemy, every torment of the devil, every torment of demon in the lives of your wife in the lives of your husband, in the lives of the children that God of heaven has given unto you and to me, be rooted out by fire. In the mind Open your mouth and make it to the We pray that the mercy of God in Christ Jesus you know, the Bible says, it said, associate yourself together and ye shall be broken into pieces. You know, we are going to pray all those associations every mm -hmm. evil counsel or the words of the enemy oh, that have been yeah. issued out yeah. against you that you can never make it in life or you can never be anything in your in your life we are going to pray that all those evil pronouncement of the enemy everything will be swallowed up by the power of the Holy Ghost it will yeah, not but the life will be not come to pass in your destiny in your life in my life in the name of Jesus you will not make it to pray now all those people pronounce those appreciation of the people of the wicked ones all those people who come from the gates of 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 the gates in the mighty name of Jesus, open your mouth and be different. Oh, Lord, that we can see the language of the Lord.
I'm almost running off now because I'm going to hand over to our pastor to take over. But hear this. We are going to pray. Any evil meeting, any evil meeting that have been summoned against your destiny, against hmm. my destiny. You know, there are people that will go and take counsel in the secret trail, in the bush, in the forest, in the ocean, in the air, everywhere. And they say, you know, we're going to pray any evil meeting, any evil gathering. Someone against your destiny, against my destiny. We are going to pray tonight. The Lord will scatter them. earlier on said he said and suddenly there was a great earthquake so that the foundation of the prison was shaking, mm. and uh, immediately all the doors were open. Tonight, we want to make a declaration before we round up. I say, God, all the doors that have been shut against our blessing, all the doors that have been shut against our breakthrough, all the doors that have been shut against our marital breakthrough, financial breakthrough, you know, material breakthrough, or maybe all the breakthrough in any area. We are going to pray to say, God, tonight, let those doors of miracle be open tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. Because Jesus name. Amen. Please over to Pastor Victor, please. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Uh, I think I have uh, about five minutes more before I call on Pastor Max. We thank the Lord for the uh, pastor that made us tonight. And in fact, he did a very good job. Pastor Shepherd, oh God, we renew your strength. Amen. 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 We, we really appreciate your prayer and your uh, Without much preamble, next week, Thursday, Jesus studies. I'm going to start a new series again. Next week, Thursday. I will start and commence a new series on Thursday prayer online. We got through some series about two weeks ago. So please let's invite other people for the series we are going to commence. And I want to say this 
Ah, by the grace of God, God is answering prayer in this platform. You know, Amen. a sister, a sister called me and he said that some of the people, anytime they see herself that men do not normally approach her, no marriage, everything is just, just like that. And I said that anybody takes your name to marriage committee. He said no. Okay. I said, don't worry, we are going to pray. As we as I said for her by the grace of God. And last three weeks, she now sent a text to my email boss. He said, Pastor Ali, I said, praise the Lord. I said, what happened? He said, somebody has picked her name to the marriage committee. I said, wow, oh, 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 Peter grew oh, I said, ah, oh, oh, she's oh, testimony oh, with me. And I she a testimony with me. And I said, well, God, we perfect that and go ahead. God bless you. And another sister also gave me a call, and he also was having challenges in the marital life. Uh, you know, he said anytime somebody comes to propose through marriage committee, all of a sudden the person will lose interest. That mm -hmm. that has happened three times. That the first the first month of their courtship, they will just this man call me. I said there's nothing to worry about. And we be, the Lord that spoke to me. There was an image of there is an image that is flowing, uh, and that image used to scare people when they start worship mm. and all that. So, by the grace of God, I uh, we, we pray and uh, that evil image, I uh, we, we set it on fire. And by the grace of God, she's there in his two months of worship now. He just sent me an image to go and say, God, we perfect that. Before this time, if he is in courtship, one month he will scatter. One month is scatter. But now he has broken that that cause, that evil image, God has set her free. What am I saying? Mm -hmm. I am trying to tell you that God answer prayer. Uh, we pastors that we are coming to minister to you, we sometimes we wait upon the Lord. And sometimes, like pastor, by the grace of God, I normally wait upon the Lord. Because coming to pray for people and all that is just just thing. I do hear from God. So please, as you are praying, pray with expectation and pray with expectation. Today, mm. as I was teaching today in the district church, uh, we talk about uh, faith in difficult times. And I told you, and that is what we are going to give before I call Pastor Matthew. You are going to pray this prayer. The Bible says, in the days of trouble, the Lord hear thee. And the name mm. of the God of the God will defend you. You are going to mm. pray in the of supply. Oh God, may the name of the God of Jacob be faithful. Come into the hands of the Lord. The name of the God of Jacob be faithful. Okay, Pastor, what do you need? Okay. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Uh, we, we, we will pray on the uh, the foundation. The foundation is very, very necessary in the life of every one of us. Uh, about two years ago, um, we were praying and then... And then you will pardon me. I didn't tell the pastor and the person that was we are praying with was telling me that oh, this particular person, this particular person need to pray because of where he is coming from, his family background. But I'm not a prophet by the grace of the Lord. All what I have is fit. And then uh, I decided that we are going to be praying with a long. With the pastor um when you look at abraham when god want to bless him mm. what he did was to take him 
out of uh, uh, I don't know if I pronounce it very well, or you are. For every Bible uh, student, we know that. That show how foundation mm -hmm. is very, very mighty and they have influence in the life of uh, one another. We now call upon the name of the Lord. Mm -hmm. Almighty, Almighty Father, whatever foundation that is affecting me, affecting my generation, affecting me, affecting my, ch my children. Some people are born with silver, silver spoon, and then by the grace of the law, the foundation they come from, and I was, remember somebody was, was talking to me about 30 days ago, and he was telling me, uh, Ramatu, uh, thank God for our family. Then he was, see how God has brought me out, that in this particular time, you work with Minunia, in this particular time, you work with Minunia. In this particular part, we work with Minunia. But he too is far. His parents, they are, they were very, very rich then. But we are trying to talk about what the foundation means. But when God wants to pull you out, He will pull you out totally. Our Pastor Shegun have said a lot of things. Some people are, are experiencing divorce. Uh, I, there are something I particularly was experiencing. I did all what I could do, but because of my family. A lot of them. Hardly can you see anybody that did not experience it in my family. I ran away for it, but I know by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, my is victory in Jesus' name. Amen. So we call upon the name of the name, Almighty Father. Whatever foundation that wants to affect me, I want to Amen. affect my children. I want to affect me negatively, affect my generation. By the power in the blood of Jesus Christ, Almighty Father, pull me out in the name of Jesus Christ. Open your mouth, call upon the name of the Lord. 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 And I want you to look back, every one of us. Look at your, look at your generation. Look at your, your family. Look at the lot of people you are part of. I call upon the name of the Lord, I sing of the Lord of Law, I pray by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ. Whatever foundation, whatever generation, whatever that must have been affecting me, I pray by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, that we affect my family, affect my family, that we affect my family in a negative way. By the power and the blood of Jesus, that I will still continue to see the traces in my family. I pray by the power and the blood of Jesus, Almighty oh, Father, take me out. King of King, take me out. Almighty oh, Father, take me out. Almighty oh, Father, take me out. I call upon the name of the Lord. I pray by the power and the blood of Jesus, that you take me out. I pray, Almighty oh, Father, no matter what this is, no matter what this is, as you call Abraham and you take Abraham out, out of it, out of his generation, I pray by the power and the blood, you will take me out. Almighty oh, Father, I pray by the power and the blood of Jesus. You will take me out. Oh, Almighty Father, your body power and the blood will take me out. I pray you will take my children out. If you not affect, if you stop from me, let me if you stop from my children in the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I, I may I may want to tell you some things. Uh, there, there are some things I want you to take note very, very well. Look at uh, some foundation. Like, why they are Father is like a pastor. You will see in that generation, in their family, they never lack to see somebody that will stand before Almighty God in that generation. What do you want to say about uh, even our Father and the Lord? Go and look at the history. The Father have been leading in one church. Go and look at our mother. Uh, we mentioned him. Please pardon me. I just I don't know how to I things. Go and look at some bishop or your people. Go and look at their, their children. Go and look at the pastor at the boy. Look at these children. That's what foundation means. Ah, when you see some people in their in their foundation, because they come from their first family, it's always very difficult if those children does not know God. It is only be the prayer of children that they should mm -hmm. have uh, their children should have an uh, upper hand. Than, than them. But go and look at some parents. And if children does not take care, it's just a little bit, they will be higher than that parent if care is not taken. If they don't pray very well to break the yoke, that yet, during our own father, 
You know, there are some father that, that there are some farmer they have money. We are not talking about that. Their children will become rich, but in their generation, in that period, they were rich. And you can see, like somebody, I'm very sorry to be mentioning it. You can see somebody like Dangote. You trace that, trace his family. You will see that the family is very rich. A lot of, a lot of things like that. Then look at our own family. I, I, I personally, I'm looking at my own now. I look at the family I come from. I know what poverty is. That's why you need to. We thank God because I, God, God loved me, and He, he take me out out of that family. But still, some places want to be. And let me tell you a secret. Let me tell you a secret. And it's a secret it's just because I want you to understand. My last born. Uh, I'm very sorry to say this. Not that I'm trying to open my family. Please bear with me. She was in the house of the second husband. And then something happened. We are talking one day. My 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 brother, my sister, every one of them are like that. Then we were talking one day. Now she told me, she told me that how do you how brother you? How do you want to escape this? I don't want to say cause. But all these historical background in our family, he said, I w- she said, I will see. My dear brother, my dear sister, what I ran away for came at last. But by the power and the blood of Jesus, it's not my portion in Jesus' name. Amen. I did Amen. all my best to run away for Please. it. And then I want everyone for us to look at our family like that. Your father may be doctor. You will see that lot on the line. You may be a nurse. You may be a, a, a doctor. You may be another one. Your father may be this. Your father may be a, somebody that is beating drum. He care is not taken. You don't pray very well. One may continue to be, even if you go to school, one may continue to be in that generation line. That's why the foundation. Now I go look at that. He said, okay, what will I do? That Abraham will not have part in this situation. He now took Abraham out of all totally. We now call upon the name of the Lord. King of King, Lord, Lord, Lord. I pray by the power in the blood of Jesus Christ. Any negativity in my foundation that want to affect me, that want to affect my destiny, that want to affect me, that want to affect my children, that by the power in the blood of Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ, what a little message more than 10 years ago. I can never forget in my life. He said, The blood of Jesus Christ cancel everything. Yes, yeah. yes. Said, the blood of Jesus Christ cancel everything. Now, you get what I'm saying? It's for the blood of Jesus to work out totally for every one of us. Now, let's call upon the name of the Lord. Oh, my dear Father, if the blood of Jesus cancel everything, if the blood of Jesus can to any affliction. I pray by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ. Any affliction in my family, every negativity in my family, every negativity that from my from my generation that is affecting me, I pray that we affect my children. By the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, I am coming in agreement with all the people online today. Father, cancel it for me in the name of Jesus Christ. Open your mouth, call upon the name of the Lord. Call upon the name of the Lord. By the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, I pray by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ. Every negativity, every negativity, every affliction, everything that has been, every entity that has been affecting me, affecting my family. I cut it out of my life in the name of Jesus Christ. I cut it out of my life in the name of Jesus Christ. I cut it out of my life in the name of Jesus Christ. I cut it out of my life in the name of Jesus Christ. Call upon the name of the Lord. 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 That by the power in the blood of Jesus Christ, I know you. And I know the power in the blood of Jesus Christ. I know you. I know you. The power of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, oh my God, God bless. Any any effect, any negativity that may be affecting me, affecting my family, that will affect me, affect my children. I pray by the power in the blood of Jesus. Father, take away from me in the name of Jesus Christ. Take away from me in the name of Jesus Christ. Take away from me in the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name we pray. We are seeing a lot of issues issue like that. Uh, I, I, I read, I, 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 sometimes I, I don't want to say I read it all, but I, I, I read something. Recently, what Emma was removed from the north, 
You may not know. And then when article was being written, they go back to his family that his father's father, his grandfather, was removed like that. Unfortunately, maybe if that man know the power in the blood of Jesus Christ, maybe what happened to his father's grandfather wouldn't have happened to him. Mm. That's what the, the power is. Look at that language, my brother. Mm. Only you. You have not experienced this. And I will see how you are not going to experience it. Mm. Look at that, my two. I tried. I tried. But what, where I didn't think the problem will come from, that's where the problem comes. I'm mm. saying this to let you know uh, that I'm not sending myself cheap, but just to let you know how I want us to pray and how we want to continue to pray. Getting money is not only the problem. Your family may be offering money, but they are experiencing maybe divorce. divorce. Your, mm. family, your family may be experiencing may, may, may offering money, but maybe they, they are firstborn. They are not surviving. Your family may be experiencing something, a lot of things like that. It may happen, not only money. A lot of things like that. And, and, and when you see that and look at it, you will see that if not the blood of Jesus Christ, this thing cannot stop. I pray mm. by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, as our leader is praying for us today, and so and and and, and, and I'm, I'm putting us deeply in the blood of Jesus Christ. All those foundation negativity foundation they are cancelled in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. The blood of Jesus Christ. Our testimony is going to be full in the name of Jesus. Christ. Amen. Amen. Jesus name we pray. Amen. Amen. Our God and our Father. The Bible says, if the foundation be destroyed, what are the righteous doing? Mm -hmm. But to God be the glory, a righteous can pray. Mm -hmm. The righteous can reposition their pay. Mm -hmm. And the righteous can possess their possession. Mm -hmm. Father, I pray tonight, every strongholds, every evil protection, any foundation, all their mm -hmm. COVID, all their mm -hmm. Of that message, people foundation away. I am maxing, I am praying that God will come into upon my life. Mm -hmm. Such all I command that soul be broken in Jesus' name. This is for me. This is for me. The prayer you have prayed tonight, God has had it, God has mm -hmm. answered that prayer. Amen. Amen. Only those who me, beware of your language. Mm. After mm. this prayer, beware what comes out from your mouth. Don't mm. speak negative things again in your life. Because mm. you are not a new reign. Mm. I decree mm. and I every person mm. of your foundation. Hey, mm. I command all that sequence. Amen. 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 Amen.
Amen. Amen. Uh, we shall meet by the grace of the Lord on the hour of victory on Saturday. Uh, let's continue to invite other people. Uh, God will continue to help us in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. They will not tire in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Let's share the grace together. The grace of the Lord Jesus Christ. To the Lord of God. And 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 to the Lord of God